once again it's prophet tom and we're starting our day in god's word we mentioned yesterday that uh, we're looking at the two books acts of the new testament and acts of the old testament and the acts of the old testament is joshua and we've gone back to joshua because we're we've looked at believing and we've looked at acting to get into the supernatural realm but in joshua we see these things being put into operation and here is a young man that now becomes the leader of a powerful nation and so god is speaking to him and uh, we saw yesterday that we need to die you know moses was dead but we need to die spirit physically and spiritually to enter into the next realm that god has for us uh, in joshua chapter 1 and verse 2 it says moses my servant is dead now therefore arise go over this jordan you and all the people to the land which i am giving to them the children of israel verse 6 says be strong and of good courage for to this people you shall divide as an inheritance the land which i swore to their fathers to cross over you must be strong spiritually to cross over let me give you a a powerful powerful story that happened uh, 20 or 30 years ago in china when the great persecution against the underground church was happening there was a pastor by the name of pastor chen and he was arrested along with hundreds of other pastors and placed into prison and he was put into a cell with many many people in that cell there in the jail itself there were 60,000 prisoners uh, and so each day for 12 years he would be beaten because of his faith uh, he would be uh, punished by the authorities because of his faith uh, and yet uh, he never wavered but the thing that burned in his heart uh, was the time that he could have alone with god he could not have this there was no room in this cell and it was noisy and he found it difficult to enter in to the presence of god after 12 years the authorities came in and took him out of this cell and took him down into a into the sewage pit it was a big room uh, and uh, they said to him this is your new assignment you must get in this sewage pit uh, and walk around to stir it up walk around and around and around all day long and then we'll take you back to yourself they thought this would break him and so he climbed down into this sewage pit uh, remember there's sixty thousand people there's pop there's urine all through this it stunk it, it the, the smell nearly made him vomit uh, and he's walking around this sewage pit uh, and initially he's complaining to god he said god why is this i served you why is this happening uh, but see god had a plan uh, god had to get him away from the crowd uh, god had to get him away from that cell and so every day he began to walk around this and then he began to realize that he was alone uh, and in this sewage pit uh, even though it stunk and uh, and you know when right through his body as it was uh, he began to worship god he began to worship god he crossed over he crossed over you see church we need to cross over the book of joshua is about crossing over and as he walked around that pit within just days uh, as he began to seek god uh, he no longer smelt the urine of uh, of the, the 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 substance around about him but he began to smell the sweet aroma of the presence of almighty god uh, he began to look forward every day he would get up and get ready to go 
down to this sewage pit uh, and he would walk around the sewage pit. Shakaba, rababa, sababa, waria, rababa, worshipping God, worshipping God. And he did this uh, for six years. At the end of six years, the authority said, we are releasing you from jail. And so he walked out. 18 years he had been in jail for no crime whatsoever, just that he loved God. And so he went back to his village out of Shanghai, and he went back into that village where he lived, wondering what it was going to be like, wondering if, uh, you know, there would be a church there, wondering if, uh, you know, his leadership had been killed or imprisoned as well. Uh, and he went there, and he was greeted by a multitude of people. He couldn't believe it, and they shared with him, and they said, you know, Pastor, we struggled for 12 years. The church stayed at 100 and didn't grow, and we even lost people. Uh, but six years ago, I don't know what happened, they said, but something happened six years ago. What happened was he crossed over. He went down into that sewage pit. He began to worship God in that sewage pit, and that was translated to his church. And now, after six years of being in that sewage pit, his church had grown from 100 people to 5,000 people. You see, when we cross over, we cross over into the supernatural. He wasn't with his church. He was away from his church. He wasn't there to teach them. He was walking the sewage pit in the heavenly realms with God. And that was translated. That supernatural power was translated to his church. And look what happened to his church. And God said to Joshua, as we close this morning, he said, be strong and of good courage. Look at verse 7. Only be strong and very courageous that you may observe to do according to all the law which Moses, my servant, commanded you. Do not turn from it. To, uh, do not turn from it to the right hand or to the left, uh, that you may prosper in whatever you do. You see, we only begin to prosper when we cross over. We only begin to prosper when we saturate ourselves uh, in the word of God. Uh, but that's tomorrow's uh, uh, journey. Today, uh, it's time to change. It's time to change our way of thinking. It's time to change our personalities. Uh, it's time to change our environment. It's time, as it were, to go down into the sewage pit and become victorious over it and say, I will break through. I will be strong. I will be victorious. I will live in the supernatural. And nothing in this environment uh, will come in to take that away from me, to stop me. Hallelujah. Well, what a powerful day. What a powerful story we heard this morning, a true story that happened. You know, there are many powerful stories out of China and places like that of what God is doing. Uh, and, you know, we need to see it in our life. So as we close, let me encourage you, cross over. Believe, speak, act, live in the presence of God and cross over, cross over into his presence. Well, bless you. Have a great day. And we'll talk with you again tomorrow.